Hi friends, we'll learn about distinct query by using which we will get the unique records from a table. This is a student table what you are using. We are inside our PHP MyAdmin. This is connected to MySQL database. And you can see in our student table in the class column, you can see there are multiple classes are there because students more students belongs to one class so multiple time the four class five all are repeated we want to pick up the unique data by using the distinct query we'll learn all about this visit this url from the description and copy the mysql dump to your clipboard we are inside our query window so let me minimize this give maximum to our query so here we are let me just zoom it a bit so you can see it better now uh, what i will write it here is i'll write the distinct one select now i'll say distinct class so i am picking up the class from from my student table so all the columns you can see here all these are one of the column i am class i have picked up so this I am going to display it now. Let me just, I am just clicking the go button. Fine. So it has come up with all the, here it is at the left side. You can see the all the distinct, there is no data which is repeated. Fine. We'll try this in a, another application. This is a, a Python application which runs on our, uh, connects to SQLite database. I'll just connect to this SQLite database. My DB is here. It lists all the tables inside this database. So here is the same student table, but this is in SQLite database. I'll open a query window here. Now let's, I can place it anywhere. Here I am placing it. Now I'll say select, select distinct class, class is the column name from student is student is my table name when i am running this query i can see here it is all the distinct classes are uh, collected from the student table in sqlite database sometime we have to find out how many distinct uh, classes are there in the table so for that means distinct data in our column thus so i will just use a command count this will count the number of distinct records in the our uh, uh, this one so in our data so it let's just see run this seven so you can see this the same query what you are trying is the sql remains same or the query remains same let it be php my admin or okay php my admin is the front end connector only now what i am uh, mainly focusing is query is constant means query doesn't change you use it in sqlite or mysql or any other database we'll just let's go to our php my admin again we are here so inside php my admin let me just run this uh, one more query here i am coming here write the same one select or i will say count again distinct class class is the column name from student student is my table name so this is what i am picking up from here now let me what is my go i am just clicking the go button so you can see the distinct class is 7 because you you don't want this long description on the as a while displaying so we can change it let me just edit this one i am saying as numbers as numbers from student so while displaying it will not write that uh, complete header it will say see here numbers let's find out the distinct records across two columns so for that select distinct class and one more is gender you can see at the right side column list it is there is one gender is there so distinct genders because multiple uh, male female will be there so it will display one only so across two columns i am using now distinct class gender from student that uh, wire is not required fine now let me just run this and see how this okay i hit the go button now you can see see the output here see for class four there is a female this male then three class three male where because twice the you, you can see here class four is appearing twice and class three 
okay here it is one uh, one class 3 and here it is now suppose you want side by side it should be then we will add the order by so for that let's just edit this mm, class per student now i'll say order by class now uh, it will be in the order of the class we'll see uh, more details about the order by subsequently now i'm hitting the go button now you just see here or let me just bring it to little center yeah so you see here class 8 8 nowhere because only male is there in class 8 so it has picked up 5 only male is there class 4 both female and male is there so it is twice it is appearing now the distinct query is applied on two columns and the unique data is picked up so class 9 female male both all other they are there because class 8 contains only uh, one type in in the gender so it is picked up once copy this uh, sql dump to create your sample table so this url is available in your description now let me just come back i have already installed this uh, uh, table so let's just go here i can show you the table here here is this table i have installed it now let's uh, apply some query to this let me just browse and show you here it is two teams are there team team one and team two so forget about the third column some other query will use it so team one there are some teams are there and team two column some other teams are there you will find that if i'll pick up unique names in team from team one then i am likely to miss that new zealand ng nj this particular data is not there in team one similarly if team two i'll pick up then there is something is also missing in there i think uh, India's uh, SL, uh, Sri Lanka, SL is uh, missing in team 2. So what I want is ma maintain, create a distinct list combining this team 1 and team 2. How we will do that? So for that, let's go to use, we will use this table only. So we will go select distinct, distinct. Now what I will see is team, team underscore 1 fine from icc world cup okay this is the table name i'll just delete this now what i will do union this union will combine this is another query i'll write it this uh, let me just copy this instead of typing okay what i am going to write is team 2 select distinct team 1 from icc world cup uni union select distinct team 2 from icc world cup now two columns are picked up this union command will pick up the unique combining these two so let's just uh, where is my go button here uh, yes so now you can see combinedly i am getting all the one two three four five six columns i am getting where everything is available so now this is the unique records combining two uh, two columns in that so we'll learn more about the union ladder because there are other applications then there is a union all where you don't want it should remove the distinct but it should combine all then you can use union all so that will learn later so this is all about a, a easy to means a small uh, on the tutorial on this distinct this will be using a ladder in our main applications many places will be using this this is uh, and you note that these are all common la query languages or sql is common so we have seen how you have done it in the sqlite database in our application so that's all friend i request you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon and if you have any doubt suggestion questions on this use the comment section below to post it thank you for watching